Today, we will be discussing many of the smaller and often overlooked accessories for ICP analysis, as well as different features of the Glass Expansion website that will help you find the correct part and optimize your ICP performance. Much of the information that will be presented today is discussed in much greater detail throughout our webinar series. If you would like more information, or if you have missed any of our ICP tips and tricks series, a complete listing of the available on-demand webinars can be found on the Glass Expansion website. Let's start by looking at some connections that are common to nearly all ICP configurations. The U-Series is our most up-to-date nebulizer design. It has a UD-Fit sample connector, which easily slides over the sample inlet. In contrast to the EasyFit, the sample connector which slides into the nebulizer sample arm. The benefits of the U-Series nebulizer are, it resists blockage. The sample channel is uniform from the entry point to the tip, so there's nowhere for particulates to be trapped. It provides the fastest washout. Since there is zero dead volume, meaning there is nowhere for sample to be trapped, the fastest possible washout and highest sample throughput is achieved. It's the simplest to use. Our proprietary UniFit connector slides easily over the sample inlet and creates an excellent seal. And it allows for full length vitricone construction from end to end. With the vitricone design, the sample channel is constructed from a heavy glass capillary machined to very tight tolerances. More information about the vitricone is available in our Nebulizers 101 on-demand webinar. In addition to the standard UniFit connection, we also offer a high-pressure nebulizer interface compatible with any glass expansion U-series nebulizer, which, as we just learned, is any nebulizer that uses the UniFit connector. Leaky connections to your nebulizer will affect both the back pressure and stability of the spray, which has detrimental effects on the nebulizer performance. Our high pressure interface provides a secure connection to help prevent leaks. This interface allows for an easy and reliable connection of your HPLC or IC directly to your glass expansion nebulizer, as well as other high pressure applications, such as syringe pump delivery and valve systems. Recently, Glass Expansion introduced the Direct Connection, or DC, gas line, providing an upgrade to our U-Series nebulizer product line with an inert, metal-free, ICP-specific gas line. The reliable ratchet click-and-seal fitting to the nebulizer gas arm ensures a leak-free gas connection by clicking or ratcheting when a proper seal has been achieved and preventing over-tightening. At the other end of the DC gas line is an ICP-specific quick connect to the argon gas supply. This improved gas connection helps to maintain optimal back pressure for consistent day-to-day -day nebulizer performance. With the DC nebulizer product line, we provide an instrument-specific quick connect gas fitting for most ICP models. In the table, you can see a list of the various style gas connectors that are currently available. Again, these fittings connect directly to the argon bulkhead, so there is simply one single component between the argon supply on the instrument and the nebulizer eliminating the need for the common quick connect fittings and rigid gas tubing. Here is a sample of our DC C-Spray nebulizer installed on an Agilent 5100 ICP. The DC gas line replaces the original rigid gas line with a more reliable and flexible gas line. We also found, in some cases when an analyst improperly removed the rigid gas line from the ICP quick connect, small plastic shavings from the gas line could end up in the nebulizer gas orifice resulting in irreversible blockage in most cases. Now let's look at a few spray chamber connections. While several of the features in glass expansion spray chambers were discussed in Spray Chambers 101 webinar, two of them are relevant to the, today's topic, the UniFit drain connector and the Helix CT. Glass expansion's new Helix CT locking screw with built-in torque control mechanism was released in 2018. This unique nebulizer interface allows for a consistent seal of the PTFE ferrule against the nebulizer, making it impossible to over-tighten or under-tighten while ensuring a gas-tight seal each and every time. The Helix CT interface is the standard option with all glass expansion spray chamber designs. If consistent performance is crucial to your ICP laboratory, a glass expansion Helix CT spray chamber is your solution. ICP sensitivity is affected by both nebulizer depth within the spray chamber and the torque applied to the nebulizer seal. The combination of the torque control and the positive stop, which fixes the penetration depth, allows the ICP analyst to achieve the same nebulizer performance every day. The Helix CT interface is also the only zero dead volume spray chamber interface available, 
providing superior washout, especially for elements that are prone to carryover. Additionally, the Helix CT is chemically inert seal, immune to strong acids and organic solvents, eliminating all drawbacks of O-ring seals. This also improves user safety by preventing broken glassware. Just a quick note on spray chamber draining. All GE spray chambers that are designed to be pumped come with a UniFit drain connector, as opposed to the common PVC tubing that is oftentimes just slid directly over the spray chamber drain, which can eventually bond to the glass or quartz, the UniFit easily slides over the drain just as in a nebulizer and provides a proper seal for smooth and efficient draining, the lack of which can lead to poor analytical results. When connecting a torch, the plasma and auxiliary gas tubing historically was simply forced over the quartz sidearms of an ICP torch, which can lead to damage while installing or removing, or damage resulting from adhesion of the tubing to the sidearms. Fortunately, there's now a better way. Similar to the nebulizer and spray chamber UniFit connectors, Glass Expansion's gas fit connectors provide reliable attachment of argon tubes without adhesion and are available to suit commonly available ICP torches with four, five, six, and eight millimeter OD sidearms. All gas fit connectors are manufactured from PTFE and the seal is made via the external pressure of the O-rings around the PTFE material. Note that no O-ring comes into contact with the quartz gas arms, thus the seal is completely inert and prevents bonding of the tubing directly to the glass or quartz. The gas fit options provided by glass expansion are a more simple and economical option compared to other available compression fittings. Many real-world samples contain a large number of analytes and contaminants in a wide range of concentrations. Internal standardization is often used to compensate for physical and mass space interferences in ICP spectrometry. In many cases, it also enhances short-term and long-term reproducibility. In addition, the addition of ionization buffers such as lithium chloride or cesium chloride helps to keep the production of electrons constant, which minimizes the effects of easily ionized elements. Glass expansion is tried provides an easy and accurate method for dosing all of your samples with internal standards or ionization buffers without extra effort or the risk of error or contamination. At the heart of each Trident kit is a zero dead volume mixing chamber available in glass or PTFE for HF resistant applications. When using the Trident inline addition kit, many users opt to employ PTFE sinker tubes. These feature one millimeter ID capillary tubing with a PTFE sinker on one end ensuring that the tubing remains in the solution bottle. In addition to the Trident, these are also often used with auto sampler rinse bottles and valve systems. It can often be quite difficult to insert the sample tube into the peristaltic pump tube. This is particularly so if the peristaltic pump tube has a small internal diameter. An example is the pump tube being used for the internal standard, which usually has an ID of between 0.2 and 0.4 millimeter, and is incompatible with the sample capillary tubing OD of 1.3 or 1.6 millimeter. To facilitate this connection, glass expansion supplies a contour range of flared end pump tubing. The flared end of this pump tubing allows the larger sample capillary tubing to be inserted. The flaring process is also trace metal free to avoid any source of contamination. Real for contour flared end tubing for all the tubing with supply, including PVC, Tigon, Salva, and Viton. Two accessories that help with peristaltic pump usage are Vitex gripping paper and Easy Glide lubricated cloth. As mentioned in the previous slide, it can often be difficult to insert the sample capillary tubing into the peristaltic pump tubing. A Vitex gripping paper allows you to grip the smooth surface of the capillary tubing to fully insert it into the peristaltic pump tubing without crimping or creasing. Additionally, it is well known that peristaltic pump tubing wears out over time. You can slow the rate at which the pump tubing wears by lubricating the pump rollers with the, with the Easy Glide cloth. This simple maintenance step improves precision, reduces drift, and extends the period between recalibrations. To ensure the most reliable and trouble-free analysis, the Glass Expansion Quality Assurance Kit enhances the day-to-day -day reproducibility of your results and greatly reduces the chance of a block nebulizer. The QA kit is a convenient package combining all of Glass Expansion's essential nebulizer maintenance accessories, which includes the True Flow Sample Monitor, Inline Particle Filter, LUO Nebulizer Cleaning Tool, and LUO Adapter for Inline Filter. With the True Flow Monitor, you have a continuous real time measurement of the liquid flow rate to the nebulizer, allowing you to accurately calibrate the peristaltic pump and also alert the analyst to a blockage with the audible alarm. 
The LEO provides a safe and effective way for, effective way for daily nebulizer maintenance. And the inline filter prevents small particles and fibers from getting trapped in, in the nebulizer capillary and capillary tubings. The LUO nebulizer cleaning tool is designed to efficiently deliver a cleaning solution through the nebulizer capillary to dislodge particle buildup and thoroughly clean the nebulizer. We suggest using the LUO regularly to maintain nebulizer performance and prolong nebulizer life. Glass Expansion has two LUO designs, one for glass concentric nebulizers, which include the sea spray conical microbus and slurry, and a separate one for inert concentric nebulizers, such as the opal mist and during mist. If blockages due to particulates are a frequent issue for your laboratory, consider adding the reusable inline filter. Particulates are not always from the samples themselves. Dust particles from the lab environment can end up in the sample tubes, and fibers from sample pre-filtering can end up in the samples if a high-quality filter is not chosen or replaced when necessary. The Guardian inline particle filter provides a simple and effective way to eliminate these risks of a blockage. In addition to the inline particle filter, we also offer a filter for use on your carrier gas lines. The Guardian inline non-return gas filter is positioned between the argon inlet on the DC nebulizer and the gas supply fitting on the instrument. The inline non-return filter has a one-way valve that allows argon to flow from the instrument to the nebulizer, but prevents liquid siphoning into the instrument. The unique polycomb 30 micron filter design protects the nebulizer from particulates from the gas supply or from worn or damaged fittings in the gas lines. Unlike sintered or fritz style filters, the linear honeycomb structure makes polycomb most resistant to particulate and dissolved solid clogging. Siphoning of the sample urban solution into the nebulizer argon control module on your ICP can occur at the end of a run when the nebulizer gas pressure is turned off and there is still liquid in the sample flow path. It is made worse if the auto sample probe stays in the rinse position at the end of a run. Real problem when using an auto sample for unattended overnight runs, it is a silent, invisible killer of your ICP. Acidified solution in the instrument argon control module can cause corrosion to electronic sensors and mass flow controllers and damage regulators that can result in expensive repairs to your ICP and unplanned downtime. In addition to RF coils, Glass Expansion also offers the proper installation kits. Glass Expansion's installation kits ensure correct alignment of the RF coil with respect to the torch body, which reduces devitrification on the outer tube. Each kit comes with the necessary alignment jig and tools, as well as a USB drive containing instrument-specific installation instructions, which saves you time and the cost of a service call. Laser ablation was covered in great detail at our most recent webinar. If you would like to learn more about glass expansions, complete line of laser ablation adapters and mixing chambers, this would be a great reference for you. In an effort to improve the reliability and ease of connection from the laser ablation system to the ICPMS torch, glass expansion has designed several different laser ablation adapters. Shown here are various styles that will accommodate an S13 or 13 millimeter torch connection, along with various different types and sizes of laser ablation tubing. Glass Expansion's line of gas fit connectors also provides a convenient and reliable connection of the laser ablation tubing to one of our adapters for a direct connection to the ICP torch. As mentioned previously, all gas fit connectors are manufactured from PTFE and the seal is made via the external pressure of the O-rings around the PTFE material. Two tables are listed here. The first is Glass Expansion's union type of gas fit connectors. The union style would be used when connecting a rigid wall tubing from your laser ablation system to one of the torch adapters that was shown on the previous slide. The gas fit union provides a push fit seal of the laser ablation tubing directly to the torch adapter. Here we show an example of part number GAZ-04U and laser ablation adapter part number 21-809-0965C with a four millimeter OD rigid wall tubing. The second table lists our standard gas fit connectors, which are also compatible with your ICP torch. This particular style would be used when connecting a soft wall tubing from your laser ablation system to the torch adapter. The soft wall tubing pushes over a bar to seal the tubing to the gas fit connector, and the gas fit connector slides over the arm of the torch adapter. Here we show an example of part number GAZ-04 and adapter part number 21-809-0965C with a soft wall tubing. In addition to our entire product catalog, a significant amount of information regarding maintenance, troubleshooting, and method optimization can be found on our website. 
The dilution calculator helps you quickly determine the dilution factor when using the Trident inline reagent kit based on the peristaltic pump tubing that is installed. In this specific example, we have selected black black, which is 0.76 millimeter ID for the sample tubing, and orange blue, which is 0.25 millimeter ID for the internal standard tubing. With this configuration, we now know the sample is diluted approximately 10%. The pump speed and sample uptake calculator helps you quickly determine the optimal combination of peristaltic pump speed and pump tubing size. In this example, we have selected a thermo ICAP from the drop-down menu, which automatically references the correct pump specifications. You can also enter these specifications manually. If your instrument is not listed in the drop-down menu, please contact us if you need assistance with these parameters. We can see here that with black black tubing and a pump speed of 18 RPM on a thermo ICAP, the sample uptake rate is approximately one milliliter per minute. There are also several different ways to search for a product on our website. You can always search by glass expansion part number or part description, but there are two other values that you may find helpful. If you don't know the part number or are unsure of if you have found the correct part, you can always use the serial number that is etched onto many of our products, such as nebulizers, torches, spray chambers, and cones to cross-reference the correct part number. Additionally, if you have an OEM part number, such as from Agilent, Thermo, or Perkinelmer, you can search by their part number to determine if there's a corresponding glass expansion part number. Under the product care section, you can find detailed procedures for cleaning and maintaining many of our products, as well as installation and operation instructions. Under the news section, you can find links to technical information, such as application notes, video tutorials, webinars, and our highly informational newsletter. Of course, this is just a small sampling of what is available on the Glass Expansion website. There's much more available than what can be covered in this webinar, such as selection guides for nebulizers, spray chambers, cones, etc. And if you ever have any trouble finding the best product for your application or have further questions about proper maintenance, we have a team of technical experts eager to assist you. Thank you all for your time today. If you have any questions or are interested in a quote, you can contact one of our three offices directly. We also have a global distribution network that can be found on the Glass Expansion website.